Hi, I'm Thomas and I'm making a game about a mouse and her friends going on an adventure. And of course, all without coding. Welcome! First of all, I would like to say a big thank you to everyone who watched the previous episode. I didn't expect such big numbers. And even more, would like to thank everyone who subscribed to this channel and I can only say that I hope they will not be disappointed. As I said in the previous episodes, today I will tell you what I have done so far. Let's start with the character model. It's quite simple and modeled after the characters from the game A Short Hike. I did the animation myself as well as the model in Blender. It's still missing the jump animation, but I think it's just a matter of time to put it in. Although I don't know if jumping will be needed at all. The texture of the model is made thanks to UV mapping all vertices at single point, marking only one color. This treatment allows me to save space by using only one texture with a color part for each character. I'm not sure if this will be the final look of the game. I'm planning to improve my skill in pixel art and try to combine 3D models with textures done just in this style. This is still a subject to think about. Thanks to the minimalist characters I have no problem making multiple NPCs. I have already made a model of a wolf, a bull and a snake. Thomas friends and a model of a vixen, although for the sakes of the game's plots I prefer not to show her for now. I also made a couple of scenes, some models I made myself, such as the bed or the desk with the computer, and some models are downloaded assets, such as the streets in this scene or the mini cooper in which are mice drive. I would like to replace all the 3D assets downloaded so far with my models in the future. As I said, I'm not quite convinced yet about the chosen style. I would be glad if you let me know in the comments if you like the vision I have created so far. To get the pixelization effect I used this shader. I found a tutorial for creating it in the depths of YouTube and a friend helped me to improve it. If I find a tutorial I will link it in the description. To make the pixelization effect look like this and not like that, I have to use one more shader, the tune shader. Temporary is a downloaded assets too, but I plan to move on my own in the future if I eventually learn how to use this thing. Did I mention that I don't know anything about coding? At this point, Adventure Creator comes to my help. These assets I have no intention of replacing with anything. I show you how it works by designing one of the scenes for the game. But first, we need to model it. The scene will be very small and will take place in the stairwell by the intercom. Since I'm making the game myself and this is my first time, I don't want to pay too much attention to details and I try to make a simple models. We all know what's gonna happen next. Ah oh, shit, here we go again. <laughs> By the way, it's my third attempt to make this. I'm not good at it and I was struggling with almost everything. For texturing I used the same method I mentioned when showing the characters. And for the intercom I decided to make its own texture. At this moment my girlfriend called me to play Fortnite. So I finished this on my own. Let's start making a scene in Unity. First off, we're gonna add a model of a staircase to the scene. This is the final look of our model. Only the pinboard texture will be replaced. We're gonna add the camera in the corner of the room. Next, let's add a player. Hit play, and now it's falling to the bottom, just like my account balance. It's because I messed up the collider by giving it to the wrong object. Quick repair and voila, we can move now. I was struggling to set up a camera that was not clipping into the wall, but I gave up and left it for later. I added my NPCs, but I hid them for now. Let's set up the first hotspot. It's in the Adventure Creator game editor. I click on a hotspot, set up the name, intercom and add new. After that, DAC creates a yellow box that I can set up everywhere I want. Let's create a new action by clicking plus button and setting this to look at because I would like to make looking at the intercom the first interaction. Now when I hit play, a symbol of interaction will appear, but when I click E, nothing happens. That's because I didn't set up the action list. Now I create a new action list and that's how the visual scripting style of doing things in AC looks. I set up the action type to dialogue, check player line and write simple text. Let's go back to the game and now it's working. So, if my player wants to call a snake, we must add a snake too. That's because if we didn't add him to the scene, we won't be able to choose him in the dialogue action. Let's go with the simple process of adding a new NPC in Adventure Creator and now we can hide him somewhere else. Next, I turn off the gravity, set up the color of a snake and now we can go back to the action list to add new action which is turning off look at interaction. Then add a new action, talk to and create a dialogue between the player and the snake. Hit play once again and we got this. Thank you. 
that's basically how it works. So I gonna finish my scene alone because I don't want to extend this video too much, so see you in the next vlog. bye!